Hello guys, welcome to Tech Mode. So today what we are going to do is that we will be learning the API testing and it's an in-depth tutorial. So what we are going to do is that we'll start uh, start with the, what exactly is the API and in the upcoming videos in the part two, part two and part one, but what we, what we are going to do is that we will use a Postman as well as uh, Postman to test our API and uh, and we will just uh, automate whatever we have or APIs we have in the Jenkins and we'll just monitor the, those APIs. So in this tutorial, what you can expect is that you will understand how, what exactly is the API and what exactly you have to test while doing API. So let's get started. So what is an API? So API is a basically an acronym, has an acronym of application programming interface. So what exactly it does that it's enable the communication between the data exchange between two separate software systems. So uh, for example, you have a particular uh, service as a backend, for example, MySQL database, where you want to present this uh, SQL database to uh, to front end, for example, using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So what exactly you will do is that you will create a particular API and you will just expose your APIs to the front end guys and they will just uh, present and beautify it and present uh, present to you in a beautiful manner so that's how api works so generally we have uh, if you have a con if you know the concept of software creation and all we have a presentation layer business layer and a database layer so uh, presentation la presentation layer is a basically a type of layer where we have uh, generally uh, but exactly a user sees and business layer is basically the way the logic happens and database layer is related to the database extra that is the backend backend and all so in the api testing generally we don't have any kind of presentation layer so we don't have any uh, application to test but uh, then what we have is that basically the logic and certain apis available to us that can be tested in the business layer so what to test in the api testing so so um, these are the four point main main four points that you have to test while doing api testing you have to check the return value based on the input condition so whatever the input that you are giving for example there is a particular api which uh, where you enter one and one and one and it will return you two so what exactly it's doing in the back end is that it's just summing them right it's basically one plus two is equal to returning it two so we are just uh, checking the return value based on the input conditions and uh, we are checking it if it does not return anything and we we check with the update data structure for example uh, there's a particular uh, api where what we do is that we create an account so whenever we hit those apis so and we just make a post request to it so it should populate the, those values in the database also so we have to check it and whenever we try to modify those api for example if user wants to update his name and all so we'll make an again an api request and uh, that sh uh, that all the things should reflect in the database so that th things we have to check so type of api testing so generally what we have type of uh, in the type of api testing we do usability testing I mean the, those apis are all uh, are very good to uh, means how usable they are we, do, we can do security testing that authentication and all are present in the api automating test automating that test testing and performance testing also so how much the fast the pro, uh, apis are so if the apis are fast then we have a present good presentation layer as well as is there so generally uh, so let's discuss type of bugs that we encounter while doing the api testing so uh, bugs that we have is fail to handle the error condition gracefully. For example, whenever uh, there's a particular API, which uh, whenever I do one and one as an input and it's give me an output of two. So sub, uh, suppose I enter a minus one and plus one. So it should give me a zero and there should be a validation of number also. For example, if I pass a string to it instead of number. So what, how gracefully it handles used flags. Second point is used flag. So used flag is basically, uh, what kind of HTTP code that is returning. For example, if I am doing a successful post, then it should return 200, 200 AK message. Uh, third point is missing or duplication of NLT. For example, if I'm creating a user 
and I, if I click the button two times, how gracefully this ha this will hammer handle. And in the four, fourth point, what exactly we have the reliability issues. So how reliable your API is. For example, if I'm if concurrent users are using your API and concurrently they are just adding users to your database. So how effectively your API will handle so that we have to test in AB testing also. So let's move on to the next one. This is security testing. So security testing again I have discussed means how secure your API is if it is available publicly and or it's so it's having certain kind of authentication to it. So we have to test it out and how gracefully the security issues are handled in the API that we have to test. So multi uh, so next next one is multi-threading issues. Multi-threading issues is basically related to performance and all. The next point was uh, is also covered in this one. So what exactly is there is that uh, for the performance point of view, your business logic should be very fast and they should have implemented multi-threading and all to do certain kind of things. And so this should be there. And so next three points are also similar way it means we, we should have a uh, proper error handlings and warnings to a user who is using, is using your API for any kind of invalid or improper input and respond data should be structured very well and it should be like uh, JSON or XML because most of the APIs are returning J JSON and XML that will be useful to your other software system. So generally the tools that we use in API testing are SOAP UI, runs, second one is the RunScore, uh, third one is Postman with Jetpacks and Postman with Newman and the last one is Curl. Curl is a basically a command line tool where you can just uh, directly use Curl minus X post and just uh, use the API. So let's see how APIs look like. So I have the API which is uh, this, which is a uh, simple uh, simple API and so its URL is json placeholder.typecode.com slash post slash one. So I'm getting a first post where it will be returning my, uh, returning all kind of data, data in a JSON format. And as you know that JSON is a key value pair. So we have a user ID and a one as a, uh, as a value and key value pairs. So this is the simplest way of uh, you can understand as a API. So what I am doing is uh, I'm using a browser and I'm making a get request to it. And if you wanted to do post and all that you can use it here, then you have to use certain kind of tools. And these are the tools I already mentioned. So, so now we have a quick overview how exact, what is our API testing and all, and how we can do API testing and what exactly, what kind of bugs that we encountered in the API testing. So let's move on to the next part in which we, I will be discussing about mainly how you can uh, test the API using the Postman with Jetpacks and Postman with Newman. And in uh, in this, we'll be, what we'll be doing is that we'll be creating a certain test cases and uh, we will be adding them in Jenkins and so that they can be, uh, and we'll be creating a certain schedule, for example, uh, per day, for every day our uh, test case will run and check for that API test cases. So hope you like this video and all. So uh, thanks for watching and please follow me on Twitter. It's and my handle is it's xmod and Facebook and uh, hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.